My name is Elizabeth Wooler, and as a filmmaker, I've traveled, lived, and filmed all over the world in places like Mexico, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Palestine. I've witnessed human rights abuses, war, and poverty, but this winter, I gained access to the place with the highest mortality rates in the Western Hemisphere outside of Haiti. It may surprise most Americans to know that I'm not talking about the third world. I'm talking about the United States and not the inner city, but the Indian reservations that are scattered throughout our country. For the past 100 years, kids have been taken away from their families and tribes and put into boarding schools, group homes, and foster care, where their ethnic identity and language is erased. I believe in the power of film to impact policy and expose social prejudices. At three generations, we've made a film about two Native American women and the devastating impact the foster care system had on them, their identity, and their families. We need to get this film edited and into distribution where it will be shown at universities across the country. You can be a part of the movement to spread their stories so that no more kids have to suffer in silence. Thank you from three generations and from the women of the Rosebud and White Earth Boundaries Reservations. Our identity, everything we're about is about our land. Is that we're suffering from historical trauma and intergenerational trauma and we don't really know what it is. In terms of life on reservations, Native Americans have some of the worst mortality rates anywhere in the Western Hemisphere outside of Haiti. I think what happened to the Native American people has caused a lot of the problems that our young people are having now. The low self-esteem, the poverty. The Native people have lost hope many years ago. She's stuck. There's no way that she's going to be able to get pulled out of there. It's going to have to be a tow truck. And I'm sure she probably doesn't have money for a tow truck. There's so many kids killing themselves up here all the time. I was doing a lot of drugs. I was um, shooting a lot of stuff that I didn't know what it was. I don't know how many stories now I've heard of parents or uncles having to go out into the woods and cut their 12-year-old down from the tree.